Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to be completing the quest Fight Arena. There are no quests or stat requirements, and the only item needed are 5 coins. If you don't have this, then you can quickly go north to Ardoin and pickpocket some men. For the recommended items are some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill a melee using only combat 44, 63 and 137. Bringing between 100 and 200 fire strike spells will be enough. The combat 137 is a hellhound that can hit up to 13. Hellhounds are weak to water spells. However, the one that we need to fight during this quest is not, so fire strike is still the way to go. And because the max hit is 13, having hit points above 14 would be advised. Though safe spots are available. Then, if you have access to stamina potions, one stamina dose would be helpful, as well as two empty inventory slots. For the teleports, simply one Ardoin Cloak teleport if you happen to already own that. If not, then you don't need to bring any teleports, just one teleport away after the quest is completed is also enough. Where to start this quest is located south of Ardoin, between Trinon Village and Port Kazet. There, you'll find the quest sign and Lady Serval. Let's talk to her and select option 1. Next, after the conversation is over, let's head east. We will need to enter the most northeastern building. Inside of that building, in the southeastern corner, we will find a chest. Open and search. Nope, the open option has already been removed. Just simply search it and then go south. On our way south, let's equip both the helm and the armor. And let's enter the fight arena using the northern door. Next, continue south. Let's go into the big southeastern room. In there, we'll find the head guard. Let's talk to him and we'll ask for a brew. Next, go west and exit the fight arena using the western entrance. West of the western entrance, you'll find a big pub. Go inside and behind the counter south, you'll find the barman. Let's talk to him and select option 2 that you would like a Cali brew for 5 coins. Once we have this, Let's return to the head guard. Keep your armor on until the fighting commence. Once you've made the head guard drunk, you will receive the Kazat Selkies. Next, let's go to the most northern cell. But if you don't have a stamina potion, then maybe walk to the cell, as for the next section we will need at least like 20% run energy. Once here at the most northern cell, make sure that you turn on your run energy, and then let's talk to the guy inside called Sammy Serval. And by doing so, this will trigger a cutscene, and afterwards we will need to fight a combat 63. Once the cutscene is over, the ogre will immediately start attacking us, with its max hit being 8. Immediately run away from it, running west and northwest to the closest skeleton. Make sure that the skeleton is between you and the ogre to use this as a safe spot for the majors and archers. Make sure that you unequip the Khazard armor and helm as those reduce your magic accuracy.
Once you have defeated the ogre, another cutscene will start. You've angered General Kazard and you will be put in jail. Once you are in jail, you can simply press space to continue your conversation with your cellmate called Hengrat. But by doing so, you will start the second battle against a Comet 44 skeleton, which can hit up to 5. Once the cutscene is over, once again, run quickly west northwest to the closest skeleton. It can only hit a 5, so it shouldn't really be that bad. And once again, use the skeleton as a safe spot. Now be careful, after you've defeated the Comet 44 Kazard Scorpion, the next battle will be against a Comet 137 Bouncer Hellhound. But you will be teleported back to the door. If your HP is level 13 or lower, I suggest to run straight west. The next battle will be against a Comet 137 Bouncer Hellhound. But you will be teleported back to the door. If your HP is level 13 or lower, I suggest to run straight west and use the Western Skeleton. Simply defeat Bouncer to basically complete our quest. After we've defeated Bouncer, there will be another cutscene of the Serval family being freed. However, since we've defeated Bouncer, General Kazard will be enraged and will start attacking us after the cutscene is over. His max hit is just a 9. So make sure that before you deal the final damage to Bouncer, that your HP is 10 or higher. So, once Bouncer is defeated, let's go through the cutscene and General Kazard will start attacking us. Defeating him is completely optional. You could quickly teleport away using the Ardoin Cloak or click on the door and select option 1 to exit the arena. Then simply exit the fight arena using the northern entrance and let's make our way to Lady Serval to complete our quest. Congratulations, you've completed Fight Arena Quest. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 12,175 attack experience, 2,175 thieving experience, 1,000 coins, as well as Bouncer has been unlocked in a Nightmare Zone. As for the Kazat armor, these are basically the same as Iron Armor and aren't really that useful. So I'm simply going to be dropping those. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.